coach Greg in today's video Sam Sulik is not a bodybuilder not actually have the balls the will to actually get up on stage and be judged by everyone In this video, we're gonna have what's known as a debate. I'm gonna present two arguments and you're gonna decide which side you're on. Side one, this is the side that I'm on. Sam Sulik is not a bodybuilder. Side two, Sam Sulik is a bodybuilder. And so before you get your panties in a bunch and you write your hate comments already, this is up for debate. I don't care if I win or lose the debate, I just like debating. And remember, we learn more from debate than we do from hate. And so the reason I don't consider Sam Sulik a bodybuilder is because he's never set foot on stage. He hasn't competed, he hasn't put on the Pro 10, he hasn't oiled up before GTA 6, and he hasn't gone up on stage flexing his biceps in a little speedo. Yeah, I get it. It's 2024 and everyone thinks they can identify as whatever they want. But my personal opinion is to be called a bodybuilder, you have to have dieted down and competed. And on the other side, you're gonna say, no, to be a bodybuilder, all you have to do is be interested in building your body. You go to the gym and you lift weights and you get bigger muscles and so you're a bodybuilder. And so by that logic, you're a power lifter if you squat, bench and deadlift in your workouts. Well, for me, to be a power lifter, you have to compete in power lifting. Do you get it? Even though you enjoy squat, bench, and deadlifting, if you don't compete in that sport, you're not a powerlifter. You're a person who lifts weights. And so in my opinion, Sam Sulik, he can call himself a fitness enthusiast or perhaps a bodybuilding enthusiast. He's living the fitness lifestyle and it's in fact a hobby. Sam Sulik's hobby, it's being a bodybuilding enthusiast. And so imagine this, guy's a powerlifter. Perhaps 300 pounds, squats, benches, and deadlifts, let's call it 600 pounds each. Is that powerlifter, person who competes in powerlifting, can he call himself a bodybuilder? They don't compete in bodybuilding, but they go to the gym and lift weights. And they absolutely have huge muscles. The guy's 300 pounds. But is he in fact a bodybuilder? Has Sam Sulik ever called himself a bodybuilder? Does he in fact identify as a bodybuilder? That's probably one of the best parts about social media now is if you have something which you are reasonably into, there's an audience for it. I've never heard him walk around saying, hey, I'm a bodybuilder, I'm Sam Sulik, the bodybuilder. I say I'm Coach Greg of Coach People. I say, Coach Greg, IFBB Pro. It's cause I am. Sam Sulik on Instagram, it says Sam Sulik. Says he's got TikTok, says he's got Twitter, and he's got YouTube. He talks about bulking and cutting. But just because you go on a bulk, just cause you go on a cut, doesn't make you a bodybuilder. To the same extent, if you were to consistently be main gaining, also wouldn't be a bodybuilder. Now remember, years ago, I used to swim, bike, and run, and I competed in triathlons, and I identified as a triathlete. I tell people, yeah, I do triathlons, I'm a triathlete. I'm also a bodybuilder, also do powerlifting, also play badminton, basketball, did a lot of things. Later became a phys ed teacher and taught a number of subjects. And so I could say I did all of those things. But how about this? Let's say I enjoyed running, biking, and swimming, but didn't do triathlons. Could I say, yeah, I'm a triathlete? If I just enjoy doing cardio and I enjoy being fit, I perhaps bike and swim and run every single day. For example, Sush. Sush is biking, running, and swimming, but as of yet, he hasn't competed in a triathlon. And so if Sush were to say, hey guys, I'm a triathlete. I'm an Ironman, I would say, no, you're not. You're a cardio enthusiast. A fitness enthusiast. You go to the gym doing cardio and you enjoy being fit. And that is an amazing thing. Great job, Seuss. And to the same extent, great job, Sam. But until you set foot on stage, until you are an actual competitor, you're just an enthusiast. Now, if you competed in bodybuilding years ago, perhaps when you were 20, and you stopped going to the gym, you're not training more and you're not competing, can you still call yourself a bodybuilder? The answer is no. To be a bodybuilder, you have to be actively pursuing the dream of building your body and you have to have competed. And so if you bodybuild it and stopped going to the gym, what you can then call yourself is a former bodybuilder or perhaps a retired bodybuilder. Take your pick. The same would apply if you're competing in triathlons, powerlifting, and so on. Bodybuilder in the dictionary, a person who strengthens and enlarges the muscles of their body through strenuous exercise. So it's a little too literal. 
See, it's 2024, and it's important to explain the nuances. Yeah, we get it, lifting weights to build muscles, build your body, but to be called a bodybuilder, the way society deems it to be, you need to be getting up on stage. And so it's relatively common for people to go to the gym and lift weights. Perhaps 20% of people go to the gym at some point and they're working out. There's millions of people, even in Canada, who go to the gym. And of course, tens of millions in the United States, but I don't think we have hundreds of millions of bodybuilders lifting weights around the world. And why is that? Because to be a bodybuilder, you got to get up on stage. It's very easy to walk into the gym and train, let's call it once a week. How hard is that? But to diet for 12, 16, perhaps even 20 weeks, or to stick to a diet of chicken, broccoli, and rice, or for the smarter individuals out there, of course, they're using my cookbook. Why would you want to starve yourself on boring, bland foods when there's a better alternative? Whether you're natural using Turk Builder and Geo2 Max from Coach Greg, HDLT supplements, Code Greg 15% off, click the link in the description. Or if you're using performance enhancing drugs, it doesn't make a lick of difference if you're not actually getting up on stage. Being called a bodybuilder is a very hard thing to do. It's a very hard accomplishment to make. Less than 1% of the population can call themselves bodybuilders. And to the same extent, just because you run, bike, and swim, it doesn't make you a triathlete. These are explicit terms to define extraordinary people. People who not only put in the effort to train and diet effectively, but people who have the courage to put themselves up on stage and be judged by an independent group of judges in front of an audience to perhaps be ridiculed. You never know. But they have the courage to let it out all on the line. I'm not saying everyone should be a bodybuilder. There are a host of dangers to being a bodybuilder. For example, many people who become bodybuilders, they likely end up having body dysmorphia. And so please be careful. Bodybuilding is the practice of progressive resistance exercise to build, control, and develop one's muscles via hypertrophy. And so if you strictly go by what's written here, I do believe that I would lose the debate. Hey, if you're a bodybuilder, you're building the muscles, and so you lose, Coach Greg. Well, if I lose, I lose. But I'm not going down without a fight. Bodybuilder. Someone who regularly does special exercises to make their muscles bigger. What's the difference between being a bodybuilder and a weightlifter? Because if I go to the gym and lift weights, my muscles are going to get bigger. I mean, lifting weights involves progressive overload, aka training harder than last time, in order to stimulate muscle hypertrophy. And so what's the difference there, Chad GPT, Mr. Computer? While the sports share many similarities, the competitive performance goals are quite different. Essentially, if you're on the side of Sam Sulix as a bodybuilder, it appears you're going to win. I'm trying to win this argument, but so far I haven't been able to do it. Remember, I'm doing my best. Now, from my understanding, if you're a weightlifter or a powerlifter, an Olympic lifter, all these things involve going to the gym and getting bigger and stronger muscles. How do we distinguish between whether you're a powerlifter or a bodybuilder, or a weightlifter, a pick things up and put them down? And so how do we do that? Well, I think we're going to have to add the word competitive bodybuilder. And by that, it means that you actually compete. And so we asked Chad GPT, if you don't compete in bodybuilding, can you call yourself a bodybuilder? Yes, you can still call yourself a bodybuilder even if you don't compete in bodybuilding. Being a bodybuilder is more about the lifestyle and commitment to bodybuilding and sculpting muscle through training, diet, and discipline. Many people who identify as bodybuilders do so because they are passionate about the process regardless of whether they step on stage in a competition. And so we asked Chabby GPT, can you call yourself a race car driver if you own a McLaren but have never entered a race? And so I identify as a race car driver. I love getting out of my McLaren, driving faster than last time, and doing all the racing types of things. Am I a race car driver if I race in a simulator? The answer is maybe. I mean, it's 2024. You can identify as anything. If I want to identify as an underage cat, I probably can do it. But should I? And will people respect me for it? It's my own personal opinion that you just simply have to compete. If you say you're a bodybuilder, you should be somebody who competes on stage. If not, you are a bodybuilder enthusiast. You're passionate about bodybuilding. It's your hobby. But the difference between being a bodybuilder and a non-bodybuilder is the fact that you've competed. If you just like the lifestyle, you want to copy your favorite IFBB pro, you want to go on bulks and cuts and go through the motions, perhaps practice posing in the gym, but not actually have the balls, the will to actually get up on stage and be judged by everyone. 
especially the judges in the front, then you are a bodybuilding enthusiast. And it is simply a hobby for you. And so let me know in the comment section. And so although I appear to have lost the debate, do you agree? Do you agree with Coach Greg or do you agree with Chad GBT? If you simply go to the gym and pick things up and put them down and you go through bulks and cuts because perhaps it's summer or winter and you, you eat more food and you watch Mike Isretel videos and perhaps Coach Greg and you go to the gym and work out, are you in fact a bodybuilder? Now remember, Mike Isretel is in fact a bodybuilder. He's had the balls to get up on stage. <laughs> he had the courage. He dared to do it. And that takes a lot of courage. Despite the fact that you might think I have a beef with Mike Isretel, I respect him because he got up on stage. That takes a lot of courage. And he did get to the national level. But what about if you're just the guy that talks about bodybuilding, but you never actually get up on stage? Are you a bodybuilder? Many of you love Sam Sulik and you're going to be all up on his side. Of course, Sam Sulik's a bodybuilder. How dare you question him? Well, I dare because I dare to make videos where I put myself up at the mercy of the audience. You watch the video and you're going to critique me. And I know you are, but yet I still do it because I have the courage to be myself. Perhaps you don't. You're just going to mirror what everyone else is doing. Instead of being a lion, you'll all go out and be a sheep. It's easier to be a sheep. It's easier to be the sheep. You've got hundreds of others out there saying the exact same thing as you. You don't dare stand out to be different. And so you can criticize me all you like. You can put all the hateful comments in the comment section. Yo, oh, yap, 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 Coach Greg yapping again. But hey, you're watching me yap and you're responding. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Of course, I can't wait to read the comments. Is Sam Sulik a bodybuilder? Don't forget to watch one of those two bloops and of course the cookbooks, the training books, the circle diet book, the heart of the last time clothing line. Don't forget about Geo 2 Max and Turk Builder. Cold Greg 15% off. You got no money, get the free, free diet and training program. I have to point that out because people think that all is about money. You don't remember about the free stuff. Join the 300,000 plus newsletter subscribers. And until next time, I am out.